It only sports talk worldwide. With some news from the world of boxing. Do y'all know what time it is? You ain't in a rush to get concussed, Now, biggest fight over the weekend, you know, number one pound for pound in some people's eyes, uh, Lomachenko. I see Lomachenko lost his fight to Teofimo Lopez, who is now number three and number four pound for pound after beating him in a convincing win. Uh, it wasn't any controversy too much of who won the fight. That some people said it could have been closer, things like that. But who won the fight? Most people agree, you know, by 85% agree that Lopez won that fight because he did. Um, now, we have a couple of things that are going on after the fight, which we want to talk about. One is, uh, Vasil Lomachenko had a shoulder injury, right, before going into the fights. So what we're hearing at a um, surgery after the fight, um, you know, and people react different, right? Some people, you know, react different when you say you have, you know, they say it's an excuse because, you, you know, you say it's an excuse, then you have to be consistent. If not, he's had an injury. Most people had injuries. Teofimo Lopez has come out and said, hey, I had injuries before the fight either. I just didn't mention them. Now, remember we had a high-profile fight with uh, Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather. Now, Manny Pacquiao said he had a shoulder injury. What happens in that fight? Uh, you know, I can remember first take and all that talking about, you know, Skip Bayless, you know, he he was hurt. You know, if he would wasn't hurt, he would have beat Floyd Mayweather, even though we saw him throwing the right hand throughout the fight. So, you know, and then Hey, who? Deontay Wilder. Didn't he have a bicep injury with Tyson Fury? He wasn't allowed to mention it. Messed around mentioning the suit and people went in on him. You know, so bottom line is, I think that we should all just be like, well, excuses for the fight. Once you step in the ring, there's no excuses. And that way, everybody excuses. We can't say some can have excuses and some can't. So, you know, that's bottom line with that. So he had an injury. We saw him throwing the punch, throwing the shoulder punches. So uh, the right hand, I think it was right shoulder. He was throwing him enough in the fight. So that's how that is. We've seen fights in history where people really hurt their shoulder and weren't able to throw it. Uh -oh. Floyd Mayweather versus Castillo was one of them. Uh, people, you know, when they mentioned Floyd Mayweather and Castillo, when Castillo won the first fight, instead of looking at it like, wait a minute, Floyd Mayweather's uh, shoulder was hurt in round one, and they were rubbing on it. You know, different than the other people's shoulder injuries. They were rubbing on an obvious shoulder injury, and he fought through and, um, fought a close fight against Castillo, and normally you would be like, well, shoot, the dude who was fighting basically with one arm, let's give it to him. But that's not how that happens. So either all excuses are out the window, or we're going to let excuses in. Now, to my other point, because of this shoulder thing that's going on with uh, Vasily Lomachenko, you're going to see people talking about the rematch, right, between him and Teofimo Lopez. Cool. But I think he needs to get his shoulder together and have a fight or two before, beforehand, before just going straight into a Teofimo Lopez uh, fight. And I think that a lot of people who are saying that are just saying he should get a rematch but don't really want it. Because you know that it's going to be hard for uh, Lomachenko to beat this guy again in second fight. So I don't know about that. But here's what my issue is. And it's always going to be the same. When you get close to undisputed, people will start acting weird. The only fight to make is... Teofimo Lopez versus Devin Haney. I'm going to keep saying it because it's for undisputed, for the real undisputed, and then everything else can fall in line after that. People will start acting weird. They'll start talking about a rematch between these two, Lopez and, and Lomachenko. Ryan Garcia is going to start popping up, Javante Davis, or, or anything that we won't give Devin Haney the opportunity that he deserves because Lomachenko avoided him to fight the easier fight. I said that in my video saying that this has a lot uh, of similarities to Mike Tyson and Glander Holyfield. In that uh, Holyfield, Mike Tyson took the easier touch in Holyfield instead of fighting Lennox Lewis. And uh, it's similar here, right? Lomachenko took the easier touch in fighting Teofimo Lopez instead of Devin Haney. So let's prove that Devin Haney is not worthy by somebody fighting him. And I think this the, it's a bigger fight, right? Uh, Lomachenko and Lopez did well. Three, three million views. And I'm guaranteeing everyone that if uh, Teofimo Lopez fights against Devin Haney in what I think would be a trilogy one day, because they're both young up-and-comers, and they're surrounded by young fighters. You know, Ryan Garcia, Virgil Ortiz, uh, Ennis, a lot of people, you know, they're not too far from, you know, the 135, 140, and, you know, in that area. These guys are going to go up to 140, most of these characters that are fighting right now. They're going to go up to 140 for sure. A couple of them probably go up to 147 later in their careers. So 
they're going to meet each other. It can be a trilogy, but we would have Undisputed. And watch what I tell you. No one's going to be talking about Undisputed. All these fights are like they're bigger than the Devin Haney fight, and they're not. Devin Haney versus Lopez would bring in exactly as much as the Lomachenko fight, if not more. Especially if somebody mentions Undisputed. But remember, boxing doesn't like Undisputed because once you get Undisputed, the shenanigans stop. And you'll see it here. Watch what I tell you. Go with Sports Talk Worldwide. And I'm about to hit y'all.